let's head on to the Barbarians game. What's our initial thoughts on uh, Clayton McMillan's squad that yeah, well, he's chosen? I, I actually had a chance to chat to Clayton McMillan before the Blues game last weekend, and I said, how fizzed up are you? And he was fizzed. He said he's so excited. And he said he's got a bunch of young men who probably didn't think they'd have a chance of playing the Lions ever. Um, I mean, they've got the captain of Wanganui, for God's sake. This is awesome. And the Lions, on the plane at the moment, uh, Qantas Airways, will be flying here thinking about the super rugby teams, the test matches. They won't even be thinking about the bar bars. They are going to get fizzed. And uh, I'm not saying that I think the Barbarians will win, but they will just dish it up. I, I think this is a great start to the tour. Yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't, I don't know whether the Lions won't be thinking about it because I'm sure Bryn Gatlin's been on the phone to the old man a fair bit. Um, <laughs> Because I did see where he, he rings the old man before he plays a big game and gets a bit of advice, but he's, he's sort of held off on this one because he knew he knows he won't get any advice. But uh, look, it's very romantic, isn't it? The, the son of the coach of the opposition team, it's fantastic. And you throw Dwayne Sweeney in there and uh, there, are, there are some other names that we know of. Sam Anderson Heather from Otago and Mitch Dunshee from Canterbury and Lachlan Boshier who played pretty well for the Chiefs earlier this season. Uh, they're not a bad-looking team. Whether they can gel together under Clayton McMillan, you know, at fairly short notice, who knows? But having said that, when the Lions team runs out and fung around Saturday night, a lot of those guys wouldn't have played together either. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a licorice all sorts sort of a thing. I think quality will win in the end, um, but it's it's a great way to start. It really is. Well, that's right, Clayton. Actually, said he picked the team on uh, traditionally on its innovations, flair, and playing with pure guts and heart. And um, it is going to be an interesting matchup with Bryn Gatlin there running the cutter. Does Warren um, load up his, you know, his open side flanker to absolutely take him out? What do you do there? Yeah, I, I was interested. I heard that the Barbars, that well, the, sorry, the Lions uh, management and the Lions Inc. had to sign off on the Barbars team, and so they had to submit the Barbars team to the Lions, and they had to agree to it. The initial Barbars team had Stephen Donald as captain, and the Lions said no. We won't have that. Now, was he angling to get Bryn in the team or was Stephen Donald posing too much of a threat? Great intel right there. Very good. But you never you never take a beaver to a lion's den, mate. That's a, a cardinal sin. <laughs> My bet in this one, I think the Barbarians are going to give them a bit of a shock. Yes, the Lions will warm into their work, um, but the Barbarians have been together. Well, by the time the game comes, they would have been together for a week. The Lions... A day and a half. So I say Barbarians with a 25 and a half point start at $2.30. Conservative-ish price, but the whole of New Zealand will be behind the Barbarians. All eyes on Whangarei at uh, 7.30 on Saturday night. So I say the Barbars can stay within 25 of the Lions. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a fine night. I think the Lions will run away in the second half, Staff. Uh, I just think they've got too much talent. Can't underestimate these blokes. They're coming off Six Nations and playing high quality rugby. Uh, a lot of these fellas not involved in Super Rugby at all are probably being playing club rugby. So uh, I've I've gone with uh, a margin for the Lions of between 31 and 40, paying 4.25. I think that's a fair old bet. 31 to 40. There it is. There. 4.25. You're right. 31 to 40. Um, the bad news is we both can't win. <laughs> <laughs> and balls out. Yeah, well, what are you doing? Bo, I actually think that uh, these barbarians are going to actually come out and deliver the goods better than Postman Pat. I think 21 to 30 points. They're going to be great on defence. They're going to attack. I don't think there's many points going to be scored in the game. 21 to 30 <laughs> points paying $21. <laughs> and, um, 21 to 30 points total in the game. Total in Both the game. Both teams. Yes, that's correct. Oh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a total tough game. Total points in the game. Oh, mate, get you. You need your head read. You need your head read. <laughs> well, I told you I'm betting with my balls. I'm not betting with my head like you are, Nisbo, so it's completely different. There's no brain down there, mate. <laughs> <laughs>